Hey Liam, what's in your surprise box today? I don't know. Well, maybe let's just leave it in there and not do anything. No. Let's take a look inside. Wow. What do we got? A winter. Uh, so here's the Thomas and Friends wood. This is called the Snowy Rail set. We got five different sets in here. Yeah, five. Oh, and look at the Thomas. It looks like he has paint on him. It's James. So we got James, Percy. Percy. Excellent, Emily. So what do you want to look at first, son? This set. The Snowy Rail set. Thank you for surprising Mattel for sending me this stuff. So let's get right into the Snowy Rails set. This is a big set. This Looks is like they have different connectors. I think yes. You noticed that right off the bat, didn't you? They do have different connectors. Typical Thomas Wood. That's a Snowy James with big snowflakes. He's pulling some rock salt. Snowy Rail set. James needs to deliver salt to melt the ice and snow. The task may sound simple, but the adventures children create are always special and unique. Designed to encourage young imaginations with quirky story starters. This wooden train set provides the inspiration for kid crafted tales. So we got, looks like we've got a new crane. We have a smaller tunnel. We've got a Christmas tree. We've got a little bit of a bridge there. We've got two new adapters. Include 17 play pieces, including James and Tender, the cargo car. He's got the cargo, he's got the tree. He's got two unique adapters, a tunnel, crane. Pick up and see what's inside. Dump it. Wow. Oh yeah. Um, I'm not sure. So here's the instructions. The bridge and the crane. Here's the crane. Uh, it's a standard crane. Looks like there's some snow on top of it, snow on the sides. Very plasticky base right there. They do have these different connectors. So I guess there's no male, female pieces anymore. Just look up, there's like snow on the track on the tracks itself. Yeah. But no. Oh, there's a little Thomas and Friends stamp right in the middle there and then they got snow all over the tracks. Here's a tunnel, so there's no snow inside on this track, but there's the Thomas and Friends stamp, uh, rock salt on the outside, shovel, Christmas lights, snow hey. all over the roof. The toboggan, am I forgetting the toboggan? All the adapters are plastic, 100% plastic. Oh, they're adapters, they adapt. But look at all the curved pieces, they're all covered with snow in this set as well. So here's Snowy James, he's got the snow covering all over him. He feels a bit raw actually on the top here, which is really interesting. I kind of do like the feel of that, I will admit that. There's James's face, I don't know, I think it's the eyebrows. Maybe the eyebrows throw me off there. On the bottom, they call him Snowy James, so that's interesting. Okay, so rubbing my thumb over the coal on the heat transfer stickers here on the on Snowy James's tender. Well, we got the snowflakes again, but you rub your thumb over the coal and you can feel the individual pieces. If we look at them, you can see, look at the coal right there, they're actually, you can feel them. Rock salt is about the same size. I wonder if it is the same size. A little tiny small. It's look at that, it's like a millimeter smaller lengthwise. Yeah, it's like a millimeter smaller lengthwise. That's about it. Cargo car with the plastic around there. You can fit the old cargo in there, so that's not much of a difference. Hey, if you look at the bottom of this crane, you can tell it goes around a curve piece. It's actually warped to go specifically around a curve piece. Look at this on the curve pieces. They only have one side that's curved because you can fit either end on there. It's very hard to turn the crane, Daddy. Is it very hard to turn the crane? Oh wow, it's really hard to turn the crane. The crashes already on the new tracks. Sorry, sir. These curve pieces are a little bit interesting to me because three of them make a full uh, 180 turn. I just want to do a quick comparison here of the new curves versus the old curves. So for a full 180 turn on the new stuff, it's just three pieces. On the old stuff, it's four, which means that the angles are obviously different. The straightaways are pretty much standard six inch. Even the sleepers, if you look at the sleepers, are a bit different too. We have the old in front of us and the old and the new, sorry, uh, far away from us. And as long as James doesn't come across the tracks. Hey! One thing to observe is the picture of James on the box, the face with the eyes looking towards you. It's not the James you get. So here we have James, and he's going around. Snowy tracks through the tunnel, over the bridge. You got the rock salt, and even the rock salt has snow on it. And now James has the rock salt, so off he goes, around and around and around. Pretty much it. Do you want to do this five in one builder set? This is the five in one builder set. It's got five different track layouts. Children can create five different layouts and infinite stories. Designed to encourage young imaginations with quirky story starters, like Paint Splatter Thomas. This wooden tra train set provides the characters and inspiration for a kid crafted tales. Wow. 
let's open this bad boy up. Oh, we got the instructions. Now well, here's a bridge, plastic, fantastic. Uh, welcome to Sodor. Well, thank you, I feel welcome. Oh, look, over the bridge. Is he pulling a truck or a tender? Um, truck. There's some good coloring details in this bridge. It's 100% plastic. You can see the sleepers on the rails as well. Actually, a little bit detailed. Oh my God. Okay, so here's a bunch of curved pieces. Now well, we've got to open up paint color Thomas. This funny looking guy, the wet paint sign, that looks like a paint palette, and the adapters. So here once again, here's a picture of the Thomas on the box with the eyes looking towards you. And so the face and the mouth is slightly open. You see the darkened mouth with the eyes looking towards you. Here's the actual Thomas, light mouth, eyes looking straight ahead. He still have, oh, paint Thomas it says on the bottom. And we have paintbrush guy, so he can sit down. Oh look, he can sit down perfectly. Oh, I'm painting. So here's the five track layouts, kind of a funny looking circle, a rounded triangle, a oval, a circle, and a larger oval. So track setup one, the trapezoid I call it, it uses up all the pieces included in the set. Oh, Sodor Paint Company since 1930. They've been painting Sodor since 1930. Oh, hey, look at that, it lies down in there perfect though. Ow. Whoa, what happened there, Thomas? You got some paint on you, buddy. Whoa. How did I know that was gonna happen? Mm. Oh, that was really kind. Thank you so much. Let's do you want to do this in a different shape? You want to try the triangle? Um, let's try this one. You want to try big oval? So here is the big oval set. We have double tracks. It takes up every single track piece that we have in the five and one. We just noticed this. This little bridge guy here. He can actually stand on the bridge there. So that's interesting. Hey, it's Paint Splatter Thomas. Uh, oh, I got splatter with paint. Oh no, not you, Thomas. Snow will go uh, get all of them. Oh. Ow. Oh, that was a good one. Good job. Oh yeah. There's a whole lot of stuff going on this brewery. So here we have regular James. This is ages two plus, as opposed to the sets which were three plus we've already got snowy james it's really interesting when you feel his tender texture on it i thought that was kind of an actual good touch meet the serious gentleman he may be a bit full of himself but james has a big heart even if his ego gets in the way sometimes so always remember his friends are just as important as he is well you're pretty excited to get it so when we touch the cold, it's got the same texture. That's a nice touch. This is just James's tender. Snowy James and James side by side. Their eyebrows. Can we get a? Can we get an old wooden railway James? I wanted to take a look at their eyebrows. Wooden railway James and wood James, and I think it's the eyes. I thought it was the eyebrows. I guess it's the eyes. Going from the top, obviously Thomas Wood is still a bit, a bit smaller lengthwise. Now let's open up Percy. Percy looks weird with that big, just block underneath him. I don't know. To me, he looks really weird, like there's a big gap in between his wheels. Uh, meet the best friend. Percy may not be a thrill seeker, but he's good natured and always ready to help. He can be a little shy, but you couldn't ask for a better friend. So here's Percy. Obviously, he doesn't have the middle axle. His other wheels just line up. I think that's a big gap. I want to compare him to an old wooden tracks. Wooden railway, muddy Percy, and here's wood, regular Percy, looking side by side. Maybe it is the eyes. The wheels are a bit closer together, but the overall length is shorter as well. So here's battery operated Percy. We see, what are those, the, what's the shocks? It's kind of some kind of shock. That's where that symbol, that's where that piece comes from, right? And I don't like that his tank is in his round. That's one feature I really liked about Percy is how his tank was formed. This is the one my daughter's excited about. We have excellent Emily, ages two up. My big question is that big metal wheel, is it gonna be just as big as wooden railway, Emily? I'm gonna take a guess and say no, it won't be. Meet the voice of reason. Emily is strong and occasionally strong-willed. She may think she knows best most of the time, but most of the time, she's right. Every group of friends needs someone caring and sensible. And that's Emily. Wow. Whoa, that was a big drop. So here's a first look at Emily. Right off the bat, it looks like old Emily is actually taller. She's taller and she's definitely longer. And it looks like the wheel sizes, there really is no comparison. Wooden Railway wheel is much bigger than the middle wheel, but at least they made the middle wheel. So let's concentrate on the new wood. The face is smaller, it actually does look like Emily. Uh, there's a bit of a different shape to it as well, as opposed to 
the Thomases and the Jameses. Here's the tender. Oh, and there's there's no texture on Emily's tender. Emily's tender doesn't have the texture that James's does. James, there's definitely when you rub your thumb over it, you can definitely feel the texture. Here, Emily's tender, it just it's just like a heat transfer sticker. Okay, here's an interesting thing that my four-year-old son just pointed out to me. This is the five-in-one set, and this is the snowy rail set. The interesting thing is, is that each set has exactly the same amount of pieces. You can basically do all the five in one, quote unquote, layouts with the snowy rail set. All you're really missing is the bridge, a paint cover Thomas, and some little accessories. If I had the choice, I would obviously go with this set with the crane and with the covered bridge and the snowy bridge as well. Plus, you know, I kind of do like the snow covered tracks. Oh, is there a train crash? Oh, I see we have our wooden railway carts already out. Carts and coaches. So the new Thomas guy is a bit taller than the Brio guy. Hey, bring the Brio tray. I wanted to see if the Thomas guy fits in there. Actually, they're pretty much the same size. Well, he kind of fits in there. Hello, everyone. It's time to take the train today. Well, battery operated trains take these corners pretty well. Go train, go, get away, get away, go train. Oh, here comes Brio guy with his Brio train. Go, go, Brio. Oh yeah, see, he's, he's too wide to even go on this bridge. We're gonna see if Thomas and Friends Wood can handle the jet rocket. The jet engine. Let's go. Go, go, Thomas. Oh. Not handling the curves too well. Oh, that curve. Oh! Yeah, they don't like these curves. The battery operated engines don't like the curves that much. They fit through the bridge. There, he took those corners pretty good. Yeah, Spencer, I think, is our fattest battery operated engine, isn't he? Well, he's doing all right. Well, it's a race of our slowest battery operated engines on Thomas Wood tracks. Are we playing Hero of the Rails? Yeah. Go, Hero. Get away from Spencer. Thomas Wood, yeah, going through. Oh, whoa, oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, is Thomas racing Emily? Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Oh, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh. So, what do you think of this stuff? Thank you for the surprise, Mattel. I mean, it's a sign. Out of all these wood trains, who's your favorite? This one. Emily, how come? Because I just like her face and all the details. My Thomas. Okay. Who's your favorite out of the new wood trains? My Thomas. Ah, so that's how you use the new ones and then adapt your old ones. You just like building tracks. I think that's the thing. Yes. That's quite the track. I like it. Let's see. Mommy. Yeah. Mommy. I'm fastest of all. Greenest engine all of Sodor. I think old Percy McGursey is going to say something about that. You are not the greenest engine on the island, Sora. I am. Whoa. Whee. All right. Yes, but luckily, no, uh, none spells on Emily. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Salt everywhere. Oh, and the crane goes down. So today we reviewed the five in one rail set, the snowy rails rail set, and we've got Wood Percy, Wood Emily, and Wood James. 
We've already had wood Rosie and wood Thomas. We just decided to include them here with all the wood accessories. I'm not sure how much these are going for. Uh, the five in one has exactly the same amount of track pieces as the snowy rail set does. The difference being uh, we have snowy James. So of course he has a tender. He has the cargo car. He has the cargo. He has a tree. There's two adapters, the covered tunnel, the open bridge and the crane. The five in one has just as many track pieces. It's got the adapters. It's got a piece of paint, a painter, a sign, and paints Thomas. Or as uh, a sets go, I'd expect the snowy rails to be a little bit more expensive than the five in one, but it has the same amount of track pieces, so I wouldn't expect it to be too much more expensive. The crane is an interesting piece. It goes up on the corner there, but it also falls down a lot. There's a lot of plastic on there. I like the bridge. I actually do like Snowy James the best. He's just got a very unique look to him. He's got the snow all over him, and the texture of the tender is pretty unique. It, that texture is also on the other James tender, but surprisingly, it's not on Emily's tender. I thought that was very surprising. The five in one set, obviously a starter pack. It's only unique piece really is this bridge, this plastic guy. The adapters are going to be here for maybe one or two years, and then they're going to probably just not be included anymore, but they're 100% plastic. Paint splatter Thomas, the exact same as regular Thomas, just with paint splatter on him. Oh, wow. If as an individual piece, I'd pick up Rosie just because of her new uh, livery. This is the way that Mattel Fisher Price have di have decided to go with the Thomas, the tank engine brand. Get in the comment sections. Uh, you can ask us any questions you want about wood. Let us know what you think of the new wood line. Please remember this is a family channel. We're gonna scan these layouts, the five in one layouts, as well as the snowy track layout. We'll put them up on our website kidstoysplay.com will be sure to include the word wood just so you know that they're wood sets and not wooden railway sets. Bye bye for now and thanks for watching Kids Toys Play. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. I'm going to crash into the camera but not fast. Just kidding. Thank you.